Week uh, four of the Mountain West Conference season is upon us here. This week we're back home again. Two teams coming in. New Mexico uh, ranked second right now in the conference and also Air Force coming in on Saturday. Um, give us the scouting report on these two teams. Uh, New Mexico has been playing well, you know, uh, as well. And, and uh, they've got two freshmen on the outside, so we're going to try and work those two a little bit. Uh, but they have a tremendous right side attacker. Uh, who hits for a very high percentage and uh, she just plays super high. So um, she's going to get her kills, but we're going to really try and limit their outside hitters. Um, and uh, we're going to do that with a lot of serving and we're going to commit a little bit on the block. So we've got our plans with them. Um, I think if we can just limit their outsides to a low hitting percentage, like UNLV did, um, let the other two big, there's a big middle, a big right side, they're going to get their kills, we'll take care of business. Um, and we just have to keep playing the, well, the way that we have in the last uh, couple weeks. And uh, Air Force is a fast kind of, um, you know, sp springy little team. You know, they're not super physical, not as similar to the teams that we've been seeing. Um, but they've got a great outside hitter, um, jumps really well. Uh, and. Um, you know, they gave us a run for our money in, in Colorado last year, so we have to make sure we take care of business on Saturday. I saw that uh, New Mexico is ranked first the conference and lowest opponent hitting percentage this year. Is there anything they're doing defensively to stop teams? Yeah, I think they're blocking well, and, um, you know, they're they're big, they're physical, and, uh, you know, again, their, their right side hitter is a tremendous blocker, so she puts up uh, good numbers to other teams' outside hitters. And if outside hitters aren't playing well, uh, your percentages are going to go way down because they get the most balls. So I think she has something to do with that. And their middles block really well as, as well. Um, otherwise, uh, nothing to, nothing that stands out you know, uh, in comparison to us, but our outsides know how to deal with big blocks. You always said that serving and passing is the key to any team doing well. And last week the team had two great performances there. They had nine aces and also eight against San Jose State and Nevada to help uh, jump up the conference rankings this week in the Aces to second overall yeah. with an average just behind Boise State, the leader there. Is that something that just, is, is this, you guys are just doing really well right now? What's attributed yeah. to that fact? Uh, it's, my team, for some reason, it's always taking a little time in season to get comfortable with our serving and get into a rhythm, and we're finding that a little bit. Um, I also, by changing Holly, Holly's serve, she's starting to do her jump serve again. Um, and she's really aggressive with it, so she's her aces went way up this last week. Um, so I think that's a big part of it, and we're going to continue to do that. Print also had a big week. She had, I think, her biggest uh, ace total of the year, and also three sets too. Is she adjusting her serve at all? Not really. Her, her with her, it's just a matter of being aggressive, but not overly aggressive. So she's she's starting to find that. So this weekend is also homecoming for football. Any plans for the team to go to the game or any kind of recruits coming in? I'm sure, you know, our team looks forward to football games. They rarely get to go because football is usually away when we're home and vice versa. And um, so they're looking forward to going. We have a couple of uh, recruits coming as well. It's a, it, they're bringing their family to the game. It's, it's a fun, fun environment, fun weekend to have volleyball and football at home at the same time. So last week was the alumni match as far as alumni were invited back to watch the match. Who did you see back here last week? Uh, well, we had Denise Williams, uh, who I've actually had lunch with, and uh, she's a great alumni. She's really going to help us with kind of reinvigorating our sport club. She's been a huge help, and I saw Kelly Leonardo, who played for me, um, and it's always good to see her. She's coaching a team, brought them in, um, and Leo was always one of our our biggest, most exciting uh, Bulldogs. So it was fun to see them, and there were a few others um, I didn't get to see, unfortunately, because of the match and the, the timing of it all. But it's always great to have those people back. Uh, we also had the chance to listen to Leo do uh, kind of her debut there as far as commentary. Did you have a chance to hear that on the tape? I didn't, but I hear she did quite well. Yeah, well, great. Well, it was Thursday, 7 o'clock, New Mexico comes. That is also a uh, homecoming leading event for marketing promotions-wise. <laughs> Fans or and students, that is, are invited to a pre-match pizza party for free for the match, and also there is uh, some different promotions involved with them during the match. And also on Saturday is a salute to the services uh, match and team. Uh, need, uh, active uh, military person or veteran is invited to, uh, to the match for free. They have their military ID. So go dogs. Go dogs.